Why are you smiling? Because you lose. <laughs> What did you do? We won. So this is how it ends. My book. See for yourself. Huh? There's nothing there. Oh, there is. But only death can read it. That's right. So we had to come up with a plan B. That wasn't too hard, though. When we realized that Michael really is a daddy's boy. Oh, yeah. Mikey's a cuck. <laughs> so you didn't take it too well when you found out that you asked Lucifer for help. Oh, he was desperate to be the favorite again. Since we couldn't read the book, we had to come up with a story about finding the spell, which we knew Michael would feed straight to you. All that prep work we did to turn Jack here into a cosmic bomb? Oh! Well, it turned him into sort of a, a power vacuum. He's been sucking up bits of power all over the place. So when the two heavyweights, your boys, showed up to duke it out, oh, they charged him right up. See, we knew Michael would warn you, and you'd show up here, and you did. And you killed your own son. And you beat the crap out of us. <laughs> releasing all kinds of power. God power. Jack absorbed it all. And made him... Well, it made him unstoppable. This... This... This is why you're my favorites. For the first time, I have no idea what happens next. Is this where you kill me? I mean, I can never think of an ending where I lose. But this, after everything that I've done to you, to die at the hands of Sam Winchester, of Dean Winchester, the ultimate killer, It's kind of glorious. Sorry, Chuck. What? What? See, that's not who I am. That's not who we are. What kind of an ending is this? His power. You sure he won't come back? It's not his power anymore. Then I think it's the ending where you're just like us. Unlike all the other humans you forgot about. It's the ending where you grow old. You get sick. And you just die. And no one cares. And no one remembers you. You're just forgotten. Guys, guys, wait. 
Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So tonight's episode, as Jensen called it, the season finale, next one's considered the series finale, was a very bittersweet one tonight and I actually felt like a true series finale, especially with that montage at the end, the montage of all the characters in the series pretty much and interacted with the boys, their allies, their friends, pretty much everyone, they put in a beautiful montage at the end and the boys are finally free. The boys somehow managed to trick God, even though he's omniscient, and they managed to extract his powers, have Jack extract his powers, by having him punch the boys and whatever power came out of that. I'm not convinced it was enough for Jack to become that powerful, but somehow that worked out and it was a very sad scene, him beating the boys up, and it really felt very desperate. They cannot do anything about it. And God, of course, doesn't just end that because all the big villains don't just snap their fingers and end the boys, so plot armor still worked till the very end. Regardless, it was a very sad scene, a bit reminiscent of Swan Song, when Lucifer was possessing Sam and beating the heck out of Dean. In this case, God was beating both. And I'm very sad for what happened to Lucifer and Michael, they both got betrayed by God, essentially. So yeah, Jack absorbs God's powers and basically becomes a new God. A very young God, supposedly very immature God, but he started immediately talking like God at the end of the episode, after absorbing all of God's powers, he got Amara with him too, so that solved the cosmic balance issue. I was wondering what's going on with that at the very end. So glad they didn't leave this hanging, they explained it to us, and uh, hopefully Amara is happy now. Her brother is not really dead, he's just human now. So Chuck really meets the most poetic ending for him, the most ironic and the best ending he can get. Not killed, but just turned into a mere human, just like the humans he's been toying with for eternity, writing stories for them, especially the boys. So the boys gave him a taste of his own medicine, they made him pretty much like him. We hear how Dean talks to him in the end about that. He's just human now, he's gonna grow old, get sick, die, and he can't do anything about it. His arrogance, his holy god arrogance cannot do anything for him now he cannot just run from everything destroy everything he wants and i think that's a perfect ending for chuck so now he can just go back to being a crappy writer like when we first met him except this time he's not gonna be pretending he's gonna be for real so i don't i don't know if i still can buy jack becoming god like his maturity level but it seems like as soon as he absorbs god's powers he became mature enough to be god and he's speaking like god at the very end giving the boys an inspirational speech and leaving, he's not gonna be hands on just like the last god, so not that much different in that regard, except he's not gonna insert himself in the story, he's not gonna toy with people's lives for fun like the old crazy Chuck the old god was. So yeah, the ending can divide a lot of people, some will love it, some will hate it, I think a more midway, we've seen this coming a long time, so the prophecy of Jack becoming god was fulfilled, it was planned all along. I was hoping for a twist, but that's what we got, and uh, I think I'm satisfied with that ending. Chuck got the ending he deserves, and the boys still made it. What I'm really worried about the next episode, because this one ended happily, a bittersweet, but really happy ending. I wish this was a series finale, just them carrying on, but next one is literally called Carry On, and I don't think the boys will make it next episode. Now that they're free, the god is not controlling their lives anymore, I think they'll actually die fighting monsters next episode. Sadly, that's the hint I got from everything I've seen, everything I've read, from the promo for next episode, so really not looking forward to it, the end of everything. Um, so yeah, really sad guys. So what did you guys think of tonight's episode? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe for more awesome Smatcher content. Until next time as always, most likely a lot of chick flick moments.